Ah! Oh God, I feel alive. Oh, it went, right? Welcome to Mythical Kitchen. Dude, I, I brought the beads back. I threw these in the trash like a couple weeks ago and then I bought more on Amazon. I have a problem. Nicole, holding the jewelry. All right, so recently on YouTube Shorts, a platform that is beloved by everyone and a platform that totally works and a platform that is not derivative of any others, we made a video diagramming how to make the Flamin' Hot Cheeto powder from scratch and then all of the comments were like, Josh, you should do Fuego's Taki powder for Markiplier because Markiplier, I don't know, I don't know what that voice was. And every comment was like, Josh, you need to do the Taki's Fuego powder because you have a superpower to perfectly recreate the powder that is on any chip and you need to use your superpower, they didn't say this, I'm paraphrasing, to help those in need. And no one right now is more in need of a big old bag of red powder being sent non-consensually to their home than Markiplier, because Markiplier said that what he wants is just a bag of the Takis Fuego powder and then a single Taki to dip in it and suck the powder off as if it were a fun dip. Just give me a bag of powder with like one chip. It's like a fun dip thing. You get one stick that you fun dip, you dip it in, you lick it, you dip and lick and dip and lick. And I absolutely intend to make that for him today. So let's get cooking, let's get in the lab, let's suck on a bunch of Takis like a fun dip, let's ruin our bathroom time for the next three to five days. It's gonna be a horror show. We've broken the recipe down into like at least a couple different steps. Those are right there and we got a full written recipe down in the description. Let's get cooking. All right, so let's talk about Taki Swigo versus Flamin' Hot Cheetos for a second. Nicole and I actually talked about it on our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, out Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast. Go listen to that. Flamin' Hot Cheetos, right? Uh, Lil Xan got sent to the hospital for eating too many of them. However, this is like a, a Diet Coke version of Takis. Like this is like, uh I was like, I was trying to make a Fast and Furious reference. Like, this is a 10 second car. This is a 10 second car on NOS with Vin Diesel and The Rock driving it, throwing a nuclear submarine at the moon or whatever. Like when Takis came out, they just punched everybody in the face with flavor. And I love that Markiplier understands that like, you don't need the crunch. You don't need the texture. You are there for just that huge punch in the face of citric acid and spice and all these delicious flavor chemicals and Flamin' Hot Cheetos simply can't match up to that. So what we're gonna do for this actual recipe, we're gonna basically take out the cheddar cheese powder from the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, and then we're just gonna supplement that with habanero powder, extra spices, extra big aromatic flavors. But just to get your palate primed, we gotta suck on some Takis. It's gotta happen. Also, the other day I was eating a bunch of Takis trying to like figure out this recipe, and then I went back to eating Flamin' Hot Cheetos. If you eat enough Takis, Flamin' Hot Cheetos taste like literally nothing. It is absolutely wild. All right. This is how you get the flavor. It's like wine tasters who like, you trill the wine on the top of your palate. That's how you do it with, with Cheetos. Ton of cheddar powder, ton of MSG. Eh. Throw that in the trash. Oh God, oh God. Oh, ride the lightning, that's so good. So I mean, the formula is gonna be really similar. We're, oh, I'm so sorry, Nicole, Nicole, I'm so sorry. Really simple formula. You can even look at the ingredients on the back, right? You got salt, maltodextrin, citric acid, sugar, MSG, really typical stuff. There aren't a ton of surprises in here, but we got a couple things we're gonna add to really make it pop. So we're gonna dump a bunch of salt in there. That is how this recipe always is gonna start. We're gonna take a little pinch of sugar, probably in like a three to one ratio of salt to sugar. Sugar's just to kind of like keep you addicted and coming back for more. Not to get all conspiratorial. Everything in these chips is just designed to make you addicted to it. They got whole scientists Oh, so good. The whole job is to keep you coming back to the Taki factory. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. It's gonna sort of sell the savoriness of it. It's a dash. MSG, monosodium glutamate. It is not bad for you at all. I know all the people in the comments on TikTok, they're like, MSG is bad for you. And then there's the like people on the other side who are like, MSG is the best thing in the world for you. And you're a piece of crap for saying it's bad for you. I don't know, I think MSG is pretty morally neutral. It just tastes good. Dump a fair amount of that in. Onion powder, uh, tastes like onions. Soda Takis, dump a little bit of that in. And then citric acid, this is where Takis really shines because it is just pure sour spice, a little bit of savoriness. And so like you see literally, they got the limes on the bag. There ain't no real limes going into Takis. I, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but a ton of citric acid, which is also known as sour salt. Yeah, a lot of that. Oh, I can smell it. My nose smells sour. I got the sours in the nose hairs. And then now maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is an anti-clumping agent. We're gonna... Sorry, Ben. Maltodextrin is an anti-clumping agent. We're gonna add that to the powder and then that is just gonna make it not clump. There's a Nutty Professor 2 reference that I wanna make, but I haven't seen that movie in 16 years. Jada Pinkett? Janet Jackson, holy crap. 
Add about a teaspoon of that. That's just gonna round everything out. And then now we gotta get to the actual chili powder. That is where these two things really, really differ. You get a ton of actual chili flavor in Taki Fuego powder, and all they have on the ingredients list, it just says chili pepper. So you have no idea what kind of chili pepper it is. You know it's red, because these are violently red. Oh, also red dye number 40, the health effects of it are grossly misunderstood. It seemed to indicate increases in hyperactivity from children who have ADHD in a very specific age range. Is it great for you? Probably not. Most of the stuff we consume today is poison for the brain and the body and the soul. But that said, red dye 40, not much worse than many other things. PSA from Josh. All right, so we're gonna add chili powder. Uh, this is, um, the chili variety of chili powder, anything is gonna give you that flavor. And then a little bit of paprika. Paprika is also chili powder. It is just dehydrated red pepper. That's just gonna sell that red pepper flavor more. Dump a fair amount of that in. Cayenne pepper, we're doing like a four chili blend because again, we have no idea what kind of chili it is. It just says chili powder on the Taki seasoning. Dump in some habanero powder. I wanna make it real spicy now. And now red food dye. Is this number 40? Yeah, it is red number 40. And dump in a lot of that to make it incredibly red. There's also yellow food dye. And then just a tiny dash of yellow. There we go. Now, pop the top on, blend it up. Ah! Blend it up. Ah! All right, now we're just gonna blend it up to make sure it's the same consistency. That way it can be a really fine powder that we sprinkle on the Takis. Well, I guess we're not sprinkling on the Takis because we're just making a fun dip powder. Yeah, this is great. Oh, that is damn close though. Mm. Mm. You feel your body going through changes when you consume it. That's really close, it's honestly. Let me suck on a talk. What? I didn't, I suck on a talk? Yeah, yeah, no, Let me suck this fat talk. What are you talking about? <laughs> the flavor is almost a little bit exaggerated in this, which is what I wanted because anytime you like get it mixed in with the oil here, you're gonna sort of be muting those flavors a little bit because you're gonna get the fat in it. <laughs> I think this is perfect. Uh, now what we have to do, we're gonna, we're gonna try and make a single Taki, just one. Cause he said he wanted a single Taki to dip in, in the powder, like a fun dip. And so I'll show you how to make a Taki. Now we have to make a single Taki. This is the fun in the fun dip. We've made the dip, now we have to make the fun. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of wheat flour. That's just to add structure to this. Even though Taki is probably just all corn, but they got a factory to figure it out and it's hard. So I like the gluten to sort of give me some structure. And we're gonna add the corn flour. That's the masa harina there. We're gonna add a bunch of salt to that. Taki, I believe is the diminutive form of taquito, which is already the diminutive form of taco. So this is a mini, mini taco essentially rolled up. So I'm gonna stream in, whoa, almost dropped the water. It's gonna stream in some water here to make my dough. Just slightly warm water just to give it a little bit of wiggle room. We're gonna get our hands in there and really mash it. Yeah, there we go. Takis, my favorite thing about them is that they are so much more calorically dense than any other chip because they're not puffed. They're like these little like collapsing dwarf star of just calorie MSG, red dye number 40 and citric acid and they are absolutely delicious and that's what makes them better than any other chip in my opinion. Eating them side by side, it is like incredible how much more flavor they really pack into Takis than Flamin' Hot Cheetos. All right, so we're just gonna let this set up. We're gonna cover it with a paper towel, let it hydrate a little bit more. Can I talk about red dye number 40 again? The amount of things that people are worried about in their food, like red dye number 40, that maybe has a causal link to hyperactivity, maybe in children with ADHD at a certain age bracket. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization's like, if you eat any processed red meat, your risk for cancer increases over a thousand percent. And everyone's like, nah, it's probably the red dye number 40 in Cheetos that's causing disease. That is absolutely wild. Make your own decisions. Use evidence-based data to inform that. Also, don't think too seriously about it. We got a short time, enjoy your food. Now we commence with the rolling of the Takis. So I'm gonna pinch off a little bit of dough right here, and then we're gonna try and make it not necessarily a circle because Takis are like elongated, and then we're gonna roll it around this here chopstick and we're gonna deep fry it. I'm gonna make it in the uh, shape of a huarache or a machete, which are my two favorite tortilla-filled foods that aren't necessarily tacos, but they're like a subset of tacos. Some of the biscuit. All right, so we got a little nubbin of dough right here. I know what you're saying, Josh, you only need to make one Taki. Why do you have enough to make 100? Um, I don't know, we're gonna make 100 envelopes of powder and just send random envelopes of powder to strangers in the mail because nothing bad has ever happened. God, what a world, what a world. All right, so we're gonna put this between little thing, a saran wrap, and then we're gonna try and roll it out sort of elongatedly. Make it about the length of a Taki. Where'd my Takis go? I haven't eaten a Taki in two minutes, so I'm gonna throw up. All right, now 
Open the plastic wrap. I'm gonna lube up my stick a little bit. And then we're simply going to roll it around. God, I'm just covered in food dye. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And we're gonna roll this around the edge of a chopstick. I'm gonna kinda seal it off a little bit. And drop it, and there's our one Taki. Taki's done, we're just gonna grab, oh, I could've just lifted the whole thing out, huh? <laughs> Shoot. Where's a little chubby? Get a little chubby, <laughs> little stubby Taki. I'm still happy with that. I might fry up a couple more trying to get a perfect one, but that's how you make a Taki. And so now all we gotta do is we gotta put it in an envelope and send it to a stranger and then try and uh, skirt through various custom laws and hope that we don't get an unmarked van showing up outside the studio. It's happened before. <laughs> well, this is it. This is the fruits of our labor. We have the Taki Swago powder along with our single plain Taki to fun dip. I'm gonna give it a little test run before Markiplier does it. What you gotta do is you gotta well up some saliva in your mouth, get it all over that talk, and then you're gonna dip it in the fun dip powder and suck it off. Ah! Oh God, I feel alive, oh, it went, right? <laughs> Dude. It tastes like someone just injected just 50 Takis worth of powder right into your bloodstream. And you really like, my nipples feel supercharged right now. I can literally feel like an AC DC current flowing between the nips, which is I think what the goal was. And I think if I know anything about Markiplier's nipples, that's what he wants. So I'm gonna address this envelope. Fun fact, I actually don't know how to address an envelope. What do you do? You just write his name yeah. and it gets to him? But you just like write your own name on the top left, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. But you don't have to? If you want it to come back to you, but since you're mailing a powder through the U.S. <laughs> it probably wouldn't put that on. Yeah, we can put like uh, the address of some somewhere down the street. I'm just gonna write Markiplier. Great, and now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our powder, I'm gonna dump it into the envelope, and then we're gonna take a single talkie and then put it Hey, Josh, it's Oh me. my God, my best friend Markiplier is here. It's me, Markiplier. How did you find us? I'm just, you know, walking around. That's incredible. Well, hey, do, I made this for you. Do you, you seem like you're I having trouble. I can't really see it because they didn't put me any eye holes. What's I mean, on? God didn't give me eye holes to see, so I can't really know where I am. I can't believe you made it all the way out here without eye holes. I try. I tried. Do you want to try the, the Taki Fun Dip? I would love to. This is like my life's dream. Okay, that's fantastic. Here, here, do you lick the spork? <laughs> Hold on, yeah, don't, yeah, just kind of get get the spork a little wet. That is a sharp spork. Yeah, 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 sorry about that. <laughs> Here, sorry. and then I'm gonna dip it in your, uh -huh, uh -huh. in your talkie powder. Is there a lot? Ah, uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. And <laughs> Markiplier, come on, say one of your signature catchphrases though. Everyone loves him so much. I'm Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, that's what he says. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> that is exactly what I thought it would be. Do you want any more, Markiplier? <laughs> Markiplier, come on, do the signature dance that everyone knows you for. Do your Markiplier dance. There it is. I want to dip the talkie in Okay, it, okay, here. How do I hold this? I'm gonna try it. You're doing really good. No, I got it, here, lick the talkie. Lick the talkie, Markiplier. <laughs> Markiplier, what's your favorite video game? Animal Crossing! You okay? Seem like you're in pain. Uh, I think you made a, a new weapon. <laughs> and it's really good, but it's delicious and it tastes exactly like Takis times 50. Oh man. Super concentrated, good job. Oh, okay, yeah, there it is, there it is. Good job, Thank proud of you. Markiplier, that's all I ever want to hear you say to me. Thank Anytime. you so much. <laughs> yeah, keep dancing like that. Keep doing your sexy Markiplier dance, Markiplier. And thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical dishes, just like Misha did when he made the spaghetti pie. He said he was gonna make soup, and then he watched us make a spaghetti pie, and he said, no! <laughs> I'm gonna make a spaghetti pie, and he did it. Misha, that's great follow through. Uh, Mark Flyer, again, I, I really look up to you a lot, despite the fact that you're, you're, you're five foot six, and I'm physically looking down. I'm five you. three, and I did no research on this, I'm sorry. <laughs> We'll see y'all next time. What was that? Can you teach me the dance? Yeah, so it's so it's just a lot of hips and it's like use your hands to just guide you. Yeah, you know? just, yeah, the, the hands, hands are natural, you know, and then you do a side swipe, and then a side swipe, and then you do it all over again. <laughs> the Mythical Kitchen's favorite way to obliterate garlic immortalized in t-shirt form. Get the Palm Hill Strike tea now at mythical.com.